Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. My name is editor Martin Kremer joins me today to unpack the latest in the mining industry. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Ashley. So you, can you tell us about a Pan-African resources effectively building an underground mine at Evanda? When we think of Evanda, we think of history, you know, mining, gold mining going on there for a long time, and one hopes that it continues. But, you know, in 2018, they had to push the reset button because there are a lot of issues there. And fortunately, they've dealt with those issues now. And it really looks a very good operation. It's producing at low cost. I mean, you know, $1,100 an ounce for an underground mine is really, I think, unheard of in the world. And that's a deep level mine. And now they're effectively building a new mine on two levels, 25 and 26. They've already done a lot on 24. And they've remined those pillars, which have been high grade. So I think, you know, under Pan-African... That place has really done well, which benefits the investors, benefits the community, and it benefits so many people who supply that mine mm -hmm. with goods and services. So it's absolutely thrilling the way they've managed what was really a difficult decision to make because you're going to go underground, you don't want to kill people. And look at the safety record. Outstanding safety record. So every box has been ticked. So it just points to exceptional management you know, from Pan-African and... and and a great courage to go ahead with that for the good of everybody. Now, Menar sees good prospects for anthracite. Yes, you know, we don't often think of anthracite coal. We think of thermal coal that gets burnt and that uh, produces our uh, uh, steam that creates our electricity. But anthracite coal, often used in metallurgical activities, and it is something that's close to the coking coal. So. We are blessed with, you know, about 3 million tons a, a year of this. And with the situation in Russia, people are looking for other suppliers. And, of course, this gives South Africa a good position to go into different markets, new markets, even European markets, mm -hmm. where, you know, the, the, the payment you get for that is good. So the, the outlook for anthracite coal is exceptional here. And that's excellent, again, for our people at, uh, you know, ZAC, the Zululand Anthracite Colliery in KwaZulu-Natal, because you need that operation to keep going. And from a geological point of view and from a mining point of view, it's quite challenging. So, you know, when you get into an era of more demand and uh, prospect of higher prices, that will save the, uh, the investment in there and keep things going for the benefit of the community there. And it's so important for that community because the water that they get from that mine is purified and then supplies 80,000 people, in fact, more than 80,000 people in the area. So people become dependent on, on these operations. And we know that mining has is, is got a finite horizon. You know, you can't always keep going. But with this now, it's given a nice boost. And again, uh, we, we're lucky to have anthracite in South Africa, and it is in demand, and the price is looking good. Lastly, Martin, um, the upcoming Southern African Institute of Mining and Metallurgy Conference will have a large focus on platinum group metals, which is, you know, important for a greener world. This is very important for South Africans to do this. You know, we're sitting on this great endowment, platinum group metals. If you look at it carefully, the only way to really fight climate change in a way that's not half-baked is through... Uh, you know, green hydrogen, taking green molecules, green electrons, and what can give you that? It is platinum group metals. Mm -hmm. So we as a South African country, we should be sitting down and working out a tremendous strategy because as the world is demanding this cleaner world, fight against climate change, and uh, we can see the climate change destruction, how important it is to work fast, everybody should be at that conference because it's, it's been called by... The metallurgists, you know, the, the technical people, mm. so they know what huge prospects we've got here because there's still research going on and every day something else is found for platinum group metals. Go there, collaborate, get the supply chains all involved there so that South Africa can then build up a great strategy as a, a national strategy to make sure we really do well with these platinum group metals that the world acknowledges that this is the only 100% avenue to, to you know, green, a greener world. And that is what they're going to emphasize. And they're going to do it at Sun City. It'll be in November the 2nd or the 3rd. 
and they want a lot of colla collaboration there. So they're giving a lot of time to networking, including there'll be a, a, a time to network at the, a function at the Valley of the Waves. So it'll be a joyful sort of celebration, but we want it's a call for action. It is really a call for action that South Africans now see what an incredible position we are in. And for our own energy independence, to have to spend a fortune on importing oil, importing gas. I mean, the, the money you make here just goes out. It goes out to someone else out there. And sometimes where it goes is not the most favorable of situations. And, you know, that money is often not used for the benefit of the people of those countries in the way it should be. So you don't want to just provide funds to a country that's ne really not looking after its people in a way that it should. Instead, you can have energy independence, energy sovereignty right here in, in South Africa. It'll be a very good thing. So I'm glad that the South African Institute of Mining and Metallurgy has taken the lead here to emphasize how important, what a great position we're in. And let's do it collectively, because normally they deal with technical matters, but they want the whole picture to come into play. Thanks for speaking with us, Martin. Great pleasure, Sashni. That's it for today. Join us again next week for more news analysis on the local and global mining industries. To subscribe to Creamer Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, please email subscriptions at creamermedia.ca.za.